Hello, hello everybody. Andrea Maeski here with Dental Health Tutoring. So earlier I did the big and exciting board exam boot camp for my dental hygiene students. Um, if you missed it, I am leaving the link on the bottom um, where if you would like to watch our video because it was fully recorded, it was about two hours and 15 minutes, you can. So do not miss it. It was a great review all about case studies and x-rays. So we talked about tons of things. Um, the case studies had a wide variety of topics, so it was awesome. But I wanna just quickly, so I won't spend too much time because I have been tutoring all day, and um, yeah, so I won't spend too much time, but I wanted to help those who, who did not, you know, sign up for tutoring with me, and if you're not a Dental L member, but I still would like to help you, you guys anyway. So the main things to know for the board exam, okay? So if you're a dental hygiene student, taking the board exam in like two days, okay? The main things to know, and I'm not saying only study this, but make sure to study this, okay? Know your x-rays. Know history of radiography. Understand how your tube head works, okay? So the inside components of the tube head. Think the anode, cathode, electron cloud, all of that. No processing errors of x-rays. Know how to tell when something goes wrong and how to fix it. For example, um, overlap, cone cutting, um, exhausted chemical solution, if there's a scratch on the film, if there's static, know all of those things, okay? Um, okay, so x-rays, know that. Make sure to know pharmacology. I know it's a large unit, but go over pharmacology. Know medications. No medical emergencies. You, you need to know things like um, special needs. So if a patient is an alcoholic, if they're a diabetic, um, things like that. Know your oral pathology. Know your oral pathology lesions. So know the difference between a macule, a papule, a nodule, etc. Know the different types of cysts. Cysts specifically for the x-rays. So know how to tell the difference between the different kinds of cysts. Um, what else? I just kind of left myself some notes here. Make sure to know nutrition. Know that chart that you've probably seen before showing you the main um, vitamins and minerals and what happens if, if the patient isn't getting enough of say vitamin C, vitamin D, and also know how, um, what foods they, they can eat that have more vitamin C in them, more vitamin D, more iron, you know, things like that. Um, what else, what else? Um, I left myself some notes, but I'm also kind of thinking on the fly for you guys as well. Do mock exams, okay? Mock exams are so important because if you do the mock exams and you're not sure about a couple questions, that's telling you that you need to study that more, okay? So go through mock exams, especially if you can. If you are a Dental L member, I have tons of them inside the membership login area for you please make sure to do them. Know your anatomy, so your head and neck anatomy, okay? So this kind of area here. Um, yes, you, you need to know um, the muscles too, but try not to study all of them because you don't have time for that. Know specifically the head and neck muscles. Um, for the muscles even more so, I would even stick to kind of your muscles along here and of the neck. So if you don't have enough time, know the main bones of the skull. So think your uh, parietal bone, your occipital bone, the zygomatic, things like that. Know the main ones of the skull. Know your infection control, okay? Know what you have to do when you're done cleaning a patient's teeth. Do you put the instruments in your ultrasonic to pre-clean, pre-soak? Um, know those steps. So from the ultrasonic, you have to rinse them, you have to let them dry. You have to put them in the sterile, or um, I should say, you have to package them after that. 
put them in the sterilizer, wait for the full cycle, let them dry, take them out, and then store them. So that was just kind of a quick one there, but study those, that, you know, whole thing. So know your infection control. Know things like blood pressure. Know your normal vital signs, okay, for children and for adults. Um, children, I say too, because they do like to ask about that sometimes, but if you don't have enough time to study children, think that the children's numbers are, are usually a little bit higher, but that's normal for them. So no blood pressure, no pulse, no um, respiration, you know, no the vital signs. Um, no smoking. Make sure to know um, what to talk about to the patient about smoking. Know the common questions. And I do have a video or two on YouTube also. If you type in smoking in the search bar, you will find a couple of them on that um, and what you have to know for the board exam. No perio, which is what that kind of goes without saying, right? So perio, perio, perio. Make sure you understand that. Understand that even one four millimeter pocket means perio. Also know that if you're looking at the patient and you are trying to determine if the gums are still inflamed, bleeding is the best answer. Redness is an answer, but bleeding is the best answer. If you're looking for perio, check the pockets. If you're looking for inflammation, check bleeding points, okay? Um, know your landmarks of a panoramic x-ray. Understand eruption patterns, okay? Study that chart that tells you when the primary teeth come in, when the primary teeth are lost. Know when the adult teeth should come in. Know all of that, okay? Um, what else? What else? So there's tons of things, of course, that you have to know. There's a lot more than what I've mentioned, but those are kind of the main ones. Study those things, absolutely. Um, make sure to know community, of course. It's not exactly the most exciting, but make sure to know that. Make sure to know that if on the board exam they talk about gingival recession, know that fluoride varnish is the best treatment for that. They love to talk about um, fluoride varnish. When in doubt, the answer is probably that, fluoride varnish, okay? So just something to keep in mind. Um, know the difference, which you all should know at this point, but know the difference between the bite wing, a PA, a Panorex, a Ceph, things like that. Know the different toothbrushing methods. Um, honestly, I could talk about this all day and all night, but this will give you guys a good start of what to make sure to know for the board exam. But if you need help, you guys, do not hesitate. I will leave the links on the bottom. I have a, um, a board exam boot camp part one that I did live um, a couple weeks ago. I believe the end of April part one that's all mock exam questions a huge powerpoint it's amazing and then i did the board exam boot camp part two which is case studies and x-rays so you do need two parts okay so feel free to look at the links it will help you prep for the board exam because i talk a little bit about everything plus more than what i've mentioned today so i will leave the links at the bottom Make sure to look. Trust me, you will be so happy that you did. And thank you guys for watching. Good luck. Please let me know how you do. Good luck. And I will see you guys very, very soon.